In this video, I will discuss Cramer's rule. In linear algebra, Cramer's rule is an explicit formula for the solution of a system of linear equations with as many equations as unknowns, valid whenever the system has a unique solution. It expresses the solution in terms of the determinants of coefficient of a square matrix and of matrices obtained from it by replacing one column by the vector of right hand sides of the equations. Computationally, Cramer's rule is very inefficient for systems of more than two or three equations. Cramer's rule for 3 by 3 matrices works pretty much the same way it does for 2 by 2 matrices. We can say that it follows the same pattern. Let's understand this with an example of linear equations with two variables. If we have two linear equations, say I have line 1 with the equation a1x plus b1y equals c1 and the other line which is line 2 with the equation a2x plus b2y equals c2 then the first step we need to perform is to arrange the system from the equations we can make a coefficient matrix this will help us to create d dx and dy which is required to calculate the value of determinant of d, determinant of dx, determinant of dy. And this can be done using the Sarus rule. So we can arrange the equations and based on the equations we can get the value of d. Here you can see that if we have to calculate the value of d we have to eliminate c1 c2 we are considering the coefficients of the variables x and y hence the value of d will be a1 a2 b1 b2 similarly if we have to calculate the value of dy we have to eliminate the coefficients of y so the values for d x or you can say dy will be depending upon the coefficients so dx for dx we are ignoring the coefficients of variable x so the values we have got here is c1 c2 b1 b2 for dx and for dy we are ignoring the coefficients of variable y so we have got the values a1 a2 c1 c2 once we are done with the calculation or you can say the creation of d dx and dy we can go for the next step which is calculation of determinant of d calculation of determinant of dx and calculation of determinant of dy and as we discussed earlier we can use the easiest method which is the saros rule in order to determine these values however let's understand this with an example before that we have to discuss the important condition where where you can say the Cramer's rule will be applicable if d equals zero you cannot use Cramer's rule there must be a condition where d must not be equals to zero and then we can calculate the value of x which will be dx upon d and the value of y will be dy upon d. Now, as we said, we have to understand this better using an example. So let's consider an example which is 4 upon a minus 3 plus 3 upon b minus 4 equals 6, 5 upon a minus 3 minus 2 upon b minus 4 equals 4. So these are the two equations or you can say these are the two linear equations uh, with two variables. However, by looking at this equation, we cannot 
understand or you can say it is not looking like the equation of lines so in order to make it simpler first of all we need to write it in the form of linear equations and in order to do so we have to perform this which is uh, let's consider 1 upon a minus 3 as x and 1 upon b minus 4 as y because of this the equation will look like 4x plus 3y equals 6 5x minus 2y equals 4 so it is pretty much looking like the linear equation or you can say the equation of a line which usually follows the formula y equals mx plus c so here we can see it in that form now as per our understanding of the topic in order to calculate uh, the value of x and y we have to arrange it in such a manner so that we can calculate the value of determinant of d and in order to calculate the determinant d we have to arrange and get the value of d so we have to ignore c1 and c2 and we have to consider the coefficients of variable x and y so the value of d will be 4 5 3 minus 2 and now performing the crisscross multiplication we can get the value of determinant of d which is minus 23 in the similar pattern we will be calculating the value of dx where we will be ignoring the coefficients of variable x so you can see here the equations are like this and we are ignoring the coefficients of x so dx will look like 6 4 3 minus 2 so the determinant of dx will be minus 24 following the same technique we will be able to find the value of dy and we have to ignore the coefficients of y now the dy will look like 4 5 6 4 so the de determinant of dy will be minus 4 so now we have all the values handy so we will go for the next step and as we know that d is not equals to 0 so we can calculate the value of x as dx upon d so finally the value of x will be 24 upon 23 using the Cramer's rule now we will go to find value of y which is dy upon d so finally the value of y will be 4 upon 23 but initially when we started the equation the variables involved were 1 upon a minus 3 and 1 upon b minus 4 and as we had considered 1 upon a minus 3 as x now the value will be 1 upon a minus 3 equals 24 by 23 1 upon b minus 4 equals 4 upon 23 using the relation we can find the value or you can say the actual value which is of a and of b so the value of a will be 95 upon 24 and the value of b will be 39 upon 4 hence we were able to calculate the value of a and b in linear equations using the Cramer's rule it was for a 2 by 2 matrix it was for 2 variable I hope you understood the concept and enjoyed the video thanks for watching